and my team used to dream about the future, but now we be rolling everywhere we go. And our cars never showing the moment I'm flowing, we living it right now. Right. Yo guys, what's going on? Pizza Hut Goodies here, and today I'm making a video to address a bunch of things, actually. So to start things off, I want to talk about my friend Zach Dixon. He is now in TGC as part of the clan. Um, you can check out his channel. He's trying to get it fixed up because somebody basically signed into his channel and changed all his shit on him and deleted his videos. So when I get the link and everything, I'll put that down in the description below. So if you want to follow him, you can. It's up to you. But regardless, we're going to get in the main topic. Now, the main topic I want to talk about is what Treyarch needs to fix with this game. I hope you guys don't mind the gameplay. I'm just doing literally a live commentary off the top of my head because I feel this needs to be talked about. Um, if play doesn't satisfy you, I'll put in some clips at the end from me and Jinx Mike because, you know, we've been going for shots and everything. We're working on some team tosses, some montages, some edits, everything like that. So I'll just include a bunch of those for you guys at the end of this video just so there is something interesting if you don't want to listen to the commentary. Regardless, my commentary is about what Treyarch needs to fix with Black Ops 3. Now, at the start of this video, I'm going to put in a clip which is complete and utter bullshit, but if you haven't already seen it and, you know, I just happen to forget about it, basically, things like glitch. Number one, why should glitch be in Black Ops 3? Because, well, yeah, I understand, okay, gravity spikes, okay, you have your purifier, okay, you have tempest, like, you know, it's a type of weapon, it's a specialist weapon, you know, it's obviously going to be overpowered in some ways, it's going to get some kills, that's understandable. Now, glitch, glitch isn't one of those, like, specialist where it's like oh no i got killed by gravity spikes they're only gonna get this once this game glitch uh, you tend to see people with it pretty often it's not that hard to get and the fact that oh i got punched but the fact that you can use it in a split second you can be tagged red and your screen can be complete and utter fucking like jelly red and you can just magically fucking teleport back and then continue to shoot the person with like no delay whatsoever like that's literally fucked you can get like so many overpowered kills that you probably shouldn't have just like in the clip i put at the start shoot him fucking 10 times in the head but heaven forbid he has glitch so he can just kind of teleport back and kill me so another thing they need to fix is a little bit of the gun balance now there's nothing too much wrong with the gun balance in this game it's just some guns are weaker than others. They really did fix the suppressor thing and everything, where suppressors affected the damage and everything on the weapon. So I'm happy about that. I'm able to use the suppressor again on the Weevil, and it's not too, too bad. But, um, yeah, they need to fix some of the gun balancing in this game. Um, they fixed it a bit with the sniper rifles. Like, I don't notice as many hit markers, but there is some times where I have, like, hit markers, like, upper neck. But it's not too, too bad, so I'm not complaining about that. But this is more towards, like, the submachine guns and everything, because if you notice, the XR2 is, like, a one burst across the map. Like, I was playing on Fringe, and I was in the barn window, which, you know, pretty much everyone fucking goes there at least once during the game. So I was in the barn window, and I noticed somebody in the house window. I thought it'd be pretty easy to pick off, because, you know, at the time, I had, what was it? A BRM. I had a BRM. So, you know, I was thinking, oh, okay, that's my kill. And, um, yeah, I got fucking raped by the XR2 in one burst across the fucking map. And, you know, it's a submachine gun. Submachine guns, yeah, they should have a bit of range. Like, they shouldn't be fucking potato range like a goddamn shotgun. But you shouldn't be able to shoot somebody across a map with one fucking burst. And that's, like, literally more overpowered than the assault rifles in this game. And, trust me, the fucking M8A7 could use a few nerfs itself. And I even have used that gun. So another thing they need to do, the score streaks, man. What are you doing to the fucking score streaks, Treyarch? Holy shit. Black Ops 3 score streaks are literally the most fucking boring and useless fucking score streaks I think I've ever used in a Call of Duty game. Like, Black Ops 2, you throw up your UAV, you throw up your counter, you throw up your orbital. That's literally most people's setup because you know why? 
those fucking score shirts, they're not that hard to get, and they're pretty fucking useful. Or even if you were running lethal in that game, it wasn't that bad. In this game, it's like, even if you're a good player, it's not that easy to drop one of those giant fucking streaks. And even if you do, they're not even half interesting, that's the thing. Like, oh yeah, I got a lightning strike for this game. Like, it's not like it's, oh, you know, complete and utter challenge to get score streaks, but normally it's a bit of one because either A, you're carrying your teammates and they don't know how to hold their gun, B, you'll be fucking really, really, really close to your score streak, and then you'll just get, like, fucking annihilated from behind. And that's another thing they need to fix. They need to fix the spawning in this game. I have legit played games of fucking Nuketown where the enemy is spawning in the exact same fence post as us. What the fuck? Last time I checked, it's supposed to be one team on each side of the map, but you know, it's alright. Let's just spawn both of them in the same exact fence and see who can fucking survive. Like, no, you need to fix that. And it's not just like it's on one map either. Like, there's been times where I played on this map, I'll spawn in, like, right here, and somebody will spawn, like, right fucking down. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Fucking ridiculous. Like, how uh, are you supposed to combat that? <sighs> Fuck. Regardless. So, that's another thing they need to fix. Um, I really like the way they did the black market in this game. I think they should keep it the way it is and not fucking money whore the common supply drops or anything. I mean... Yeah, you can buy as many rares as you want if you have the money, but it's not as, like, bad as AW's was, because you could literally fucking money whore anything you wanted. Anything you wanted. Like, you want the speakeasy? All you had to do was money whore for it, and that's what made the game bad. Everybody had, like, all these fucking weapons and everything, and that's all it became. Like, if you had a certain variant of a gun, you won. That, that's it. You won. And as you can see, 68 and 75. I normally do really good in the game. I'm surprised I wasn't fucking carrying this game. But 8 and 17 and 5 and 12. And, um, the last point I want to make about what they need to fix in this fucking game is the matchmaking. The matchmaking is some of the worst I have ever seen in a Call of Duty. And I fucking grinded through Advanced Warfare's sweat stage when they introduced skill-based. Like, there are so many sweats in Black Ops 3, and they're always put on the other team. It's not like you have good teammates on your team. Now, I know this seems a little bit hypocritical coming from the person that just went 14 and 15, but I'm normally there, like, 26 and 2. I just wanted a gameplay so I could make this commentary. So just imagine, Pizza Hut Goodies up there, 26 and 2, and all your teammates are, like, 8 and 17, 3 and 15, 2 and 14, 1 and 11. The only reason it's like that is because it's connection-based at first. Once you are in the lobby, it does skill-based matchmaking. But, the thing is, it takes all the parties and it groups them together. The parties of the average or better players, it groups them together. If you are an individual good player, it stacks the shitty kids on your team, and that's how it balances it as fair. Now, how the fuck is being the only good one on your team fair? Like, that's not... Like, fair. Like, think about it. You have a squad of six average to good players going against maybe two good players and four kids that don't even know how to hold the fucking controller yet. Like, that's not even right. You really need to fix the, like, matchmaking in this game. Black Ops 2, it was absolutely immaculate. It was connection-based, and the noobs fucking learn Treyarch. I I've heard Thunder say this as well, but the noobs will fucking learn. It's not like you need to handicap the good players who have played the game forever just to make it so the new players stand as much as of a chance. Like, that's not even right. But, um, that's gonna end the commentary here. Let me know what you guys want to think and what you want to see them fix in Black Ops 3. If you guys agree with me, let me know down in the comments. But other than that, I'm Pizza Hut Goodies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.